Hey you, what is up? My name is Pooh Cluster and today I'm going to be showing you guys the next update to my game. So now we are in version 1.01 .01, and the reason I named it 1.01 .01 instead of 1.1 .1 is because I didn't add that much new content into the game and this update is more about bug fixing rather than implementing new features into the game. Nonetheless, let's get started. The first thing you'll notice about the game is that the menu sounds no longer work. The sounds of the menu no longer play when we are in title screen mode. You can hear it here. You can hear it very clearly. But when we are in title screen mode, you won't be able to hear those clicks. Alright. So the next thing, since we are still in menu mode, I'll show you what I did with the menu. Whenever you interact with the menu by clicking on it, you will now hear clicks for when you click on it, and a click when you release. So, here I'll turn off the music so you can hear it better. So basically this just makes the game more interactive and makes the game feel more responsive. So when you release outside, it doesn't play the sound. Next is when you turn off the music, it saves the position and will resume back at that saved position once the music is turned on again. So let's we'll turn on the music. Then it will save it there. And then when we turn it back on again. Next is I fixed this very annoying delay issue when changing the volume of the music. So when you would change the volume of the music, it would not change the volume immediately and it would take about half a second before it would actually change the volume. So now it doesn't do that. And it changes instantly. So at this point, I don't even know if you can hear the sound, but to me that is the sound of success. Let's talk about Slimy Joe's sound effects. So in the previous video, I noticed that whenever we killed Slimy Joe here, his death sounds weren't really that loud because they were overtaken by the loud ball explosion. But now, when we kill Slimy Joe, oh, no. we can still hear him saying, oh no, even though the ball explosion is still loud. Next is that sound doesn't play anymore if Slimy Joe is not within the Y boundaries of the camera. Slimy Joe's sound effects wouldn't play if he was up here or down here, simply because he's not even on your screen. Next is I fixed player one slow movement when player one would slow walk, uh, player one would flicker and blur a bit, but now player one doesn't do that. And the reason this happened was because I did something wrong when implementing my camera class in the previous update. Next is, so as you can see, player two is dead. When player two gets too far away from player one, player two will always teleport back to player one. However, since player two is dead, Player 2 is not going to teleport back to player 1 and will remain in the position where he or she died. Next you can see when you die and you are on a moving platform, you will no longer fall off of the moving platform. If you were to die on a moving platform, you should still stay on a moving platform when you're dead. Next is I fixed this bug when both players are dead and a new game is clicked. So now when you click new game and both players are dead, both players spawn back with full health. The last thing I did was I improved the rendering in the game a little bit more. So if you notice, the game is now at around 700 FPS at all times, and before it was at 500-400 FPS on this level. Now it should be 700 FPS consistently throughout all the levels in my game, for my computer at least. And lastly, just because I didn't add anything new into the game, I decided to implement a new color of flower, which is blue. I will have this new update in the Dropbox, and that is all for this update. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.